Alright guys, this is how you would ship a $500 card. Say you uh, sold it on eBay or you did it in a, uh, a break on blowout cards, whatever you did, and you, you end up with say a $500 card. Say a, uh, a Manny Pacquiao, Pacquiao to 50 where the uh, the unnumbered version are selling on eBay right now for four hundred dollars so this rarer version to fifty probably a five hundred dollar card alright so now there's two ways of going about this and I've received cards both ways so I'm I'm an expert alright now the first way you know what you don't really you can just ship a card you know what I'm saying so look these things you know what these are they're expensive that's what they are so what I want you to do right you just take this five hundred dollar card and um, you just go ahead and stick it on in there you can use a sleeve you ain't got to just stick it on in there now how many times have you received mail where the mail's just been all completely destroyed and broken alright not very many times but now just say you want to be extra special careful there's there's another way to do this right okay now I've, I've received cards like this too and I know that the post office personally when they see this they're uh, they're pretty excited to get them like this you just do this you just write just write right on there you know so that there's no there's 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 no you know there's no getting around that alright so that makes the post office be especially careful right and you can also put like I've, I've got them like this too where you put valuable cord and then just so they know you mean business, you write, do not bend. All right? Do not bend. You just put that on. You didn't even underline it for, like, extra emphasis. Now, personally, if I worked in the post office, I'd know this guy means business. You know what I'm saying? This guy, he's, he's, not, he's not playing around. All right? So you just take this card here, this $500 card, you just stick it in here, and you just seal that sucker up. Drop that in your local mailbox. Or you can, you know, you put a little clothes pin and put it on the outside so they see it, right? So when they're driving by, they don't miss it. You just clothes pin that right on there. Now, if you're a nitpicker, you know, and I know you guys are out there, there's another way to ship a valuable card. All right, first you take your $500 card and you stick it on in one of these things here. Now, you can pick these up at your local LCS. Um, you can buy them on blowout cards, whatever. Now, these are these are extra you know they're not buying a top loader okay they're they're buying the card but some guys they just want a top loader now personally what I would do is I'd take about I'd take about eight rolls of duct tape and I would se severely seal this you know because you gotta be careful you have to be safe you know what I'm saying now what you do is you just take your old uh, post-it note and uh, you put that across there just just to be safe alright and then you take uh, this is one of those team bags you fit about 25 cards in there or one um, $500 card and then you grab these uh, these dummy cards from them packs of uh, upper deck and uh, just slide that in there alright now once you got that in there nice and secure like so Okay. Now that car's not going anywhere. It's probably not going to bend. Then if you want to be really safe, you know, if you buy any Topps Chrome or Topps Bowman or anything like that, they try to make it look like the box has got a whole lot more cards in it than it does. And they put one of these in each box and then they set the cards on top of it. It's called uh, giving the uh, consumer a false sense of security. And you just take them like that. And I'm like, that. look at that right there. That ain't going nowhere. And you just set them down like so. Then you take you some of this stuff here. This ain't duct tape. I'd prefer duct tape, but I'm all out. So uh, we'll go ahead and use one of these here. Nice and sanitary. You bite it with your teeth. Teeth are the best um, tape cutter there is. Some people like to use them scissors. I think that's just foolish when you got... Everybody's got teeth. Not everybody can afford them scissors. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, of course, after a while, not everybody has teeth, I, I will admit. But, uh, here you go. A little bit more here. Just to be extra special safe. Nothing like being safe, because you might be shipping somebody's nitpicky, you know. Oh, my card moved around in the envelope. And the corners got bent. Come on, you know you're going to bend them corners yourself, you know. 
So uh, you just put that on there. Keep it nice and safe. You can, you know, if you're like me, you really like tape. You just might want to, you know, you just might want to go to town on, on safety precautions, you know. I don't want anybody to say this sucker was not, I don't want anybody to say this sucker wasn't safe. Alright, so then uh, just go ahead and use them scissors that the good Lord gave you. There you go. Pretty safe there. Now, if this person happened to also win a box of base in your break, you might want to go ahead and ship that to them too. They like it when you use a little bit of uh, this extra bubble stuff. Now, there's a couple other things I want to tell you about. One is called a scan form. Now, have you ever shipped something through the UPS or, uh, I'm sorry, the United States Postal Service? And um, even though you know you shipped it, they're telling you that it's not showing up when they click it. Well, there's a way to solve that right there, right? This is called a uh, United States Postal Service scan form, all right? So what I want you to do is you go on there to that there PayPal. Even if they didn't pay through PayPal, you go on there to that there PayPal, and uh, you go to that multi-shipping thing they got there. You just click on that multi-shipping link, right? Through PayPal now, you click on that multi-shipping link, and then right before you print out your uh, your your shipping label, which is what this here is, right after you ship, right before you print this, there'll be a print scan form option. You click that print scan form, and you take this with you when you go to drop this off in the, the at that post office, and uh, you hand this to them, and they will scan this for you. Now you might get somebody who says they don't know what they're talking about, and they don't do scans, blah blah. Yes, they do. You just say, "I'd like to speak to your manager, please," and um, they'll be quick and uh, go ahead and scan that in for you. Now, what you want to do is you want to get a bubble mailer. This is a flat rate bubble mailer. They're free now. I know some of you guys on Craigslist are trying to sell these here bubble mailers from the United States Postal Service. All right, that's called illegal. Now, to get this for free, and I, for some reason my camera doesn't want to focus on it, to get this here for free, what I want you to do is go to the uh, UnitedStatesPostalService.com. It's actually USPS.com, and uh, they'll give you 15 of these for free. Actually, 15 at a time. You order 15, and then you wait a little while, and you order 15 more, and you wait a little while, and you order 15 more, and then by that time you got 45, and you're good to go. All right, they're free. So now you've got your scan form, you got your shipping label, which I like to tape on with some duct tape, and then you got your nice. This is your $500 card. You want to slide that in there like so. All right, nice and safe now. And then you put the little base cards that they want. A lot of people like their base, so you just slide that in there. That ain't sliding real well. Base has always got a habit of not sliding. You ever notice that? What's up with base, right? And just stick it on in there. All right. Now, a couple things I want you to do. One, I want you to see the address and stuff that's going to. Is uh, I want you to make sure that this is nice and secure. Now, what they'll tell you is all you got to do is press firmly. All right. <laughs> what I'm going to tell you is that's a crock of shite. What I want you to do now. All right. See where it says, please press firmly. I want to tell you what that means. That means it's going to just pop open later. So. Now they have this thing, it's called duct tape. Now what I want you to do, I want you to take just a little bit of duct tape. Now you ain't got to overdo it. Just take a little bit now, you know what I'm saying? Just a little bit. That there duct tape. And then I just want you to duct tape this sucker nice and safe. Because you might have a nitpicky guy. You know, you might get one of those guys, and I've had them before, they'd be like, look, I spent $500 on this card, and you sent it in a plain white envelope. Look, did you get your card? I don't want to hear about no little corners being bent or nothing like that. I ain't sending you the... I'm not selling you corners. I'm selling you the whole card. As long as the whole card shows up, sure, it slid around a little bit, but, you know, just go ahead and tape that sucker together like so. And then when you got it nice and taped up, you, sir, are good to go. So here you go. This is what you got. Nice and pretty. $500 card. You can also buy $500 worth of insurance. Now let me tell you a secret. Don't pay for the insurance yourself. Ask Feller to pay for it. He just bought a $500 card. Least he can do is pay for $500 worth of insurance, which is like 6 bucks. 
it's worth it all right so let's sum up now this is method number one now method number one's gonna work okay for some people but then again you got the nitpicky ones all right this is method number two you got your scan form very important it's gonna show up immediately that it has been dropped off then you got your uh, you got your shipping label right here and um, what you want to do when you're getting here one of these packages is you want to get signature confirmation alright that lets PayPal know you mean business alright signature confirmation costs you a couple bucks actually like any good business you just move that on to the consumer and um, have him pay the I forget two dollars two fifty something like that now what that means is when his five hundred dollar card shows up he's got a he's got a sign for it and that covers you through PayPal alright but here you are priority mail it's gonna to get to them in two to three days this is going to the other side of the country from where I am so it's going on over there to that uh, that west coast where them people are crazy so it's gonna head on over there to the west coast and uh, he's gonna receive his uh, boxing card and a baseball card product and uh, that'll be all happiness alright so that's how you do it this has been a tutorial sponsored by um, packwars.org alright have a good one talk to you later